where I will finally say it. Master Smith's is OP. It's incoming, folks. A showdown. A BO1 to decide it between Voldemar, who's over here. Great start. And Myriad on the other side. And what a matchup it's going to be. Voldemar, he seemed to be one step ahead with his pick. Goes into English because English is phenomenal on Gorge. The Ford Gold allows them to shut the game out early. Myriad choosing a sieve that would usually suffer for that. The Iobids are so gold greedy that if you can block their gold, you can end the game. But Myriad, what I'm hoping we see here, I'm hoping he knows the English solution. There is... Possibly one, maybe two maximum matchups where the Iobids should be going Master Smiths in Feudal Age. And guess what, folks? We are in that game right here to decide this best of three in the playoffs of Chiefs of War Chief. And Voldemar already throws that Frisbee, but it's got a curve in it. Voldemar opening with the racks into the men arms. Now, I've seen Voldemar do these type of racks plays before. He typically stops at one. A lot of other players, interestingly enough, go to two. This is one of those matchups where one is good enough because there's not going to be any heal potential from the Ibids and there's not going to be an outpost rush here. So I imagine Voldemar is just going to focus on his tech up now. He did not go for the double farm opening and that's why he can afford to go for this Rax. Instead, he's going to start prioritizing that tech up. Only has five sheep so far. Meanwhile, Myriad with 11. And keep in mind, Myriad is not going to gather them first. He's going to go for the berries. Men at Arms reveals himself though. Onto the gold line. Myriad, really cozy right now, though, folks. He got 240 gold. I say cozy, though. This... Hmm, Overgathering, I imagine he was just focusing on the wheelbarrow, right? There's no way he was thinking about Fast Castle in this matchup. So this is going to be the telling moment. In, what, 30 seconds? We're going to see if he locks in this tech. This is the one. Master Smiths, which would give you all of the upgrades for that age the moment you drop a Blacksmiths, will win you the game. And arms. It is just one for Voldemar. So he's not going to be too far behind. And it may look like Voldemar hasn't done much, but he may have just stopped Myriad from getting into Wheelbarrow, for example. So it's a little bit frustrating. Unfortunately, more frustrating than that is the fact that the TC is in range of all these berries. And yet, the fact that Myriad has gathered one of the bushes entirely means this should not be growth. Growth is really bad if you've gathered the bush entirely. You're just missing out on extra food. We're doing it! That actually could be it. That one detail could decide this entire game. Master Smiths, let's go. Oh, damn. Sassy said that as well. <laughs> so why is this such a big deal? Well, because the English really thrive off the start of Feudal Age with Lombos. Lombos, which not only have extra range, they actually have higher base damage than standard archers. So imagine how powerful it is on the receiving end of that to immediately turn them down to normal archer damage and then turn your own archers up. To put it another way, imagine I gave you a matchup where you now, against the English, could just spam archers, and your archers will do the exact same damage as the English ones, only the English are gonna pay more. That's pretty wild. But that is what Master Smith does. Usually an underwhelming tech, I would not recommend this in Castle Age. I definitely would judge you heavily if you built it in Imperial Age. But in Feudal, man, is this strong. Now, we have seen a Master Smith once already in the group stage of Chiefs of War Chief. A player who shall not be named may have forgotten to build the Blacksmiths. A little reminder to people, if you want to make this play to ruin English players' life, you do need to build a Blacksmith. You will not get the Undermesh, the Steel Dower, the melee tech, attack, and defense unless you build the Blacksmiths. And I will forgive that player, because when you read this, by the way, it doesn't make it apparent. In fact, it kind of baits you, because it says that those technologies become free and complete automatically when entering an age. It really, in, bra in brackets, should say, you have to have a blacksmith for this to activate. So, we'll see how quickly he wants to go into it. For the time being, Myriad is just going to set up the outpost here. Okay. Still, still going to need that blacksmith. Let's get out on the wood, buddy. Other side of this, Voldemort has gone in for a single longbow. I do think there's a potential counter to this play from the Ibis for the English, and it involves being as greedy as possible. I don't think against Master Smiths you can play Feudal All-In. I think you have to play for Castle Age. 
Now, that might be a big caveat. Yeah, two outposts is pretty lofty, but I guess it's because the wraparound here. I'm starting to think, is Mirad going fast castle? This is a fast castle build. A little bit surprised, actually, because, yeah, the, this is now really inefficient for Myriad. If he was going to do this, I think he should have built two outposts this wide apart. This third outpost is now dead weight. This makes sense for Fast Castle with one outpost here, one outpost here. So this is going to be stable drop into blacksmith drop. And then the cool thing about that, this is pretty brainy, actually. Uh, by going for the Fast Castle with Master Smiths, it means you immediately are going to have the ability to fast dive with your Lancers. That's not easy to do against English TC fire, even with heavy cavalry, but the Master Smiths is going to allow him to. Now, don't get me wrong. I do think he's playing an unnecessary approach to this. I do think that alternatively going for mass military now is a very big edge to have. Like you open stables, you follow up archers and you dominate. But in fairness, he's going to tick the box here. Probably not the most efficient with the triple outpost. But Voldemort now seeing this, hasn't got a way in. So his only option should be Greed himself. Hmm. Love the short wall as well. Probably not 100% necessary, but it's because the Lombos might just peek in and shoot. People highlight without arrow slits is kind of useless. Uh, it's more the case of like the Lombos have to come past the tower to attack you. Which is why this tower works. I agree this tower is kind of weird. But this tower at least still functions. You more behind this Voldemort. I feel like you just can't play. Car you have to play for Castle. You literally can't play in Feudal now. Myriad, meanwhile. I think we know what's about to happen here, don't we? And it makes me sick to my stomach every time I see it. Culture wing advancement on the way. Mirad should be dropping the stables quite quickly after this. What? <laughs> Wait. Oh, and he's hiding it. I mean, so the stable play isn't about fighting the army though, right? It's about going after economy. Gulam's eventually achieves the same. I think as well, Voldemort should usually expect stables, right? Which is why Myriad cancelled the racks and moved it further back to hide it. He doesn't want to reveal that he's going to Gulams. That's pretty crafty. Voldemort really far behind right now. Not his fault. Literally just the matchup. I mean, you can argue he spent dead weight resources on Longbow Spearman. The reality of this matchup, though, is the discount of 500 resources for the Ibids. That's just insane. Please build a blacksmith. Please. No, guys, guys, he didn't forget. He wouldn't forget. Myriad is, is, is a boy wonder genius. All right? He went from gold to conk. He's the boy that we all want to believe in because we've all been there once in our life. He'll know to build the blacksmiths. He's doing it. Move over, Sassy. He's outplayed you. <laughs> Here we go. So golems that are going to turn into giant walking hedgehogs because they're going to take so many arrow hits to kill. Four armor now, instantly five. And not just that, by the way. You know what makes the Master Smiths even better with the golems here? Golems have double strike. So actually buffing the melee damage on top of all this is even better. Out of all the units Myriad could have built, this arguably is the best one. King's Pass on the way from Voldemar, though. I'm glad he didn't invest in more. He didn't get baited here. This is going to be a window for Myriad, though. Look how quickly he's scaling in with the double racks. Three Gulams already in the field. Now, this is going to be English double TC fire. However, that does have its limitations. Yes, it's double arrow fire, but it only hits for eight. And he has enough armor to reduce five of that damage. It's like Mirian is slowing down. He should be playing into a Moss next here. Like, this is just natural flow thing where you just go Dervish. Love that he's playing out to Pocket Ecos because Voldemar can't play the map right now. 
Scout getting a bit too frisky here. We'll just about get away. Voldemort, I think he was in range for a second there. Might have been a bit tight. Gulums are now marching forward, though. I'm waiting for it. I don't... Ex oh, there we go. Sultan's Mamluks is going to get queued up. So I was wondering if he's going to rush it here. It's pretty smart, though, because if you kill any units with these Gulums, and there's plenty of squishies for that, you not only get buff damage of 25%, you increase your movement speed by 20%, which puts you up at around 1.4. Nutty movement speed for a heavily armored unit. You thought Palace Guard were quick. Watch how these guys zoom when they kill. Gulam's diving in now, though. TZ Fire is doing stuff. It's just not really doing it quick enough for my liking here. Keep in mind, he also has eight villages idle. Actually, 12 in total due to the outpost as well. So, Myriad, eco ahead from this play right now. He just not, needs to start claiming heads, right? Attacks coming on the scout. Mamluk's bravery is about to come through. Sons of Mamluk's rather now coming in, which means any kills from here on out are going to juice up his attack power. Lombos shift away. It looks like Voldemar actually may have read it at the perfect time here, so shifts out of the base. A lot of idle time, though. Militarily, Voldemar doesn't really have much to work with. Only one crossbowman so far. Myriad now playing into the mosque. He's going for the dervishes. Uh, looks like those longbows are going to be forfeit. Admittedly, Voldemar has no reason to play longbows longer term here. This is insanely greedy what he's doing behind this, though. I I think this is a mistake by Voldy going for Monastery. One, your monks move much slower than the Iobids. Two, you need every piece of resource into crossbows right now. This is the only gold you have. And they cost 40 per crossbow. Oh, my God. I, I think Voldemar, like, going castle is one thing, but now being greedy, doubly greedy, right? Because it was King's Palace and Monastery. This might just kill him. Voldemar with just two crossbow to his name. He can't even gather food right now. Look at the panic. There's too many villagers here also. Crossbows, one by one, are going to be picked apart here. This is looking grim for Voldemar. And I agree. I think White Tower here... The triple arrow fire might have been enough to just turn the tide here. Especially if Voldemar was always intended to go Monastery behind this. But now, Eco behind on two TCs. No food to work with. This is an absolute disaster. Monk is at least going to bring Rom Relic back. Maybe, maybe this is the idea from Voldemar. I cannot beat your army, so I will become your army. <laughs> is, is that what the plan is? The plan isn't working. I think that's it. I, I actually think this is over now. Um, that was that was basically the Hail Mary, right? Voldemar won't just rush to GG out, right? This is his last game of the tournament, but I don't see how this is anything but his last game now. He's nine villages behind. He's been under 200 food a minute for the last three minutes. And now there's so many Ghoulams in his base, Lord of the Rings is about to sue us for copyright infringement. Yeah. Not even the melee armor. Oh, man. This was kind of crazy. This was a very creative way to use the Master's Myths, but definitely paid off in the end. Great read by Myriad. I think Camel Lancers maybe gets you there a lot slower. The Ghoulams is the all-in that just forces the GG, though, and this most definitely is. Means that Myriad is going to move on for a showdown with Anatan from the 3D clan. Uh, that should be happening later on the day. Voldemar, back to the drawing board, bud. It's only in 2024, and I'm sure there's plenty more to show for him. I think Voldemar has been one of those players that has still looked really remarkable in some of his older sieves, but... Some of these matchups versus the new sieves have been big question marks. I think that's been the case for a lot of players, though. But I think it's a good thing, right? It forces you to learn new things, to experiment a lot. And I'm sure next time we see Voldy, he'll make up the difference for us. But I'm glad to say Myriad continues to be on the rise here. Myriad, who, just to reiterate to people, was a gold-level player in Season 1. Voldemar, the kid, the absolute dunker, has been a fearful force on the ladder for well over a year. And he just got dismantled. So you know what I'm saying to you folks? Goldies, enter every bloody tournament possible. Get signed up. Believe, because who knows? 
Give it a year and you could be the next Myriad. Right now, I think Myriad is just screaming, go next, Voldy. <laughs> He's like, if, if I just keep walking around in circles. Ah, screw it. It's done. GG. That is going to be all she wrote. 2-1 for Myriad. He proceeds through in the Chiefs of War Chief. If you like what you've seen here, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you give the channel a follow. Make sure you're liking the videos. Make sure you're commenting down below so that YouTube knows how much you love it. And be sure to follow us on Twitch. Who knows? You could be part of this live moment. The jaw-dropping moment for a lot of people who are expecting Voldemar to take this cleanly. Instead, Myriad cleans up in style. I'll see you all in the next chapter.